TikTok is the fastest growing social media platform and has given rise to some of the biggest influencers and trends that have seeped their way into mainstream culture. Other social media platforms have tried to replicate what TikTok has done, but TikTok remains a one-stop shop for fast-paced entertainment. Some of you might know that TikTok was instrumental in the growth of my ministry over the last few years. And although I remain on the platform, I'm keenly aware of some of the major issues with the platform itself and the content that's being posted on there. For us Christians, the first problem that might come to our minds is the vast amount of heretical content being spread on TikTok every day. And although this is an issue, you can tell by a lot of the content that I make responding to it, this isn't the biggest issue on there. The rampant sexually explicit content that is on TikTok is the biggest problem. And not only that, that it is often consumed by and created by young teens and kids. As a Christian who has an objective moral standard, I can look at this and see the obvious problem. But but I was surprised to know that musical artist Billie Eilish also commented on the problem of TikTok. Let's watch and I'll unpack the story more. I am really upset by the hypersexualization of super young women and, and men and anybody that doesn't um, conform to a, a gender. It's horrible to me because TikTok, you could be any age, you're, you're, you just get the app, you know, it's, it doesn't matter. Yeah, and no, it's, it's crazy. crazy. Yeah. It's a, I, it, I it agree. is a kids app. People think of it as a kids app. There's literally a trend, like you want me, uh, and it's like it's like the the beat is like the sound of like a bed creaking. The trend is like you hold your phone, make a you you like do a body movement that looks like you're having sex, and it just pops up on your phone. And they like I'm like guys, this is literally porn. It's just like. You're pretending. You Notice how even though she lacks a basic understanding of gender, she's able to identify the nefarious and twisted nature of a lot of content that's being posted on TikTok. An old adage goes like this, and I'll probably mess it up, but a blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while. And even though she is spiritually blind and still in bondage to her sin, she can recognize the wickedness of a lot of this sexually perverted content. As if consuming this content wasn't bad enough, unfortunately, a lot of these kids are mobilized into making it in their bedrooms themselves. And it's not just young kids. Young adults have jumped in on this trend as well, which is just as disturbing. Now, some people might argue, well, Isaac, that's just a very niche side of TikTok, and as long as you don't engage with any of that kind of content, TikTok won't show it to you. And while an aspect of this is true, I've seen frequently that when you even say you're not interested in a piece of content, TikTok will serve you up a similar piece of content not too long later to see if you're interested now. There's no foolproof way to avoid it. So I wanted to conduct a little bit of an experiment. What if somebody were to get on TikTok for the first time? Fresh, new, no history, no nothing. What would TikTok show them? So I created a new email address, a fresh TikTok, and this is what TikTok showed me. I'm going to have to blur and mute a lot of this video because I don't think it's appropriate to show, um, even for educational purposes. I just don't think this content is something that you should be looking at. And uh, so we'll see how much actually appears on the screen here. Some still might say, Isaac, this is a coincidence. It's just so happened to be the first video that you saw on the For You page of this completely fresh account that had no history whatsoever. But I, I, I would beg to differ. I've seen too many instances of TikTok offering up the sexually charged content, even when the person is saying they don't want to see it. Sexual jokes, sounds, skits, and videos awaken sexuality in us in ways that is not God-glorifying. Jesus said that if you look at a woman to lust after her, you've already committed adultery with her in your heart. Those who create sexually provocative material and those who choose to lust after it will both be accountable before God. We are told to flee sexual immorality, and this should cause us to pause as we're thinking about engaging on a platform that continually serves up this kind of content. Now, my reason for staying on the platform is that there are millions of people on this platform consuming this kind of garbage and I want to be able to provide God's truth and love on this platform that is very dark. In terms of 
actually consuming content. I do occasionally because I want to engage with the content that's being posted, what's going on in the culture to post on my platforms here and on TikTok. I want to be able to provide beneficial commentary and I can't do that if I don't know what's going on. Now, if you're on TikTok and you intend to stay, I guess a word of advice I would give you is stick to your following page. The For You page is a place where anything can pop up at any time. And if you're not that strong in your faith or you feel like you keep succumbing to temptation, it's not a good spot to be. Go to your following page, your following tab, whatever you want to call it. And those people you've already curated, you already trust those people to provide content that's going to be beneficial to you. So hang out there. If you're not on TikTok, honestly, it's probably for the better. And if you say you want to get on in order to share God's word with people and post things that are going to uplift people, um, be ready for a battle. That's all I can say, because it can be very, very dark. I want to hear from you. What social media platforms are you on and which ones are you not on? And what's your reasoning behind it? Or if you're on TikTok, let me know some of the safeguards you put up in order to not be exposed to some of the things that you don't want to be exposed to. I want to give a huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon. It is because of you guys that I can continue to do what I do in helping people follow Jesus daily. You keep this ministry going and growing. If you want to help support me and my mission, head to the link in my bio to sign up today. Thank you again for watching guys and I'll see you next time. God bless.